It's a great pleasure and privilege to be attending Ethiopia's Grand Social Ceremony, a noble experience of generational legacy today at Unity Park in this beautiful city of Addis Ababa. I congratulate my brother, Prime Minister Dr. Abiy Ahmed, his government, and the people of Ethiopia for the restoration of Unity Park. The restoration of the palace is an important symbol of the wider reforms and successes Ethiopia is achieving under the stewardship of Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed and his government. The, restor the, the restoration of palace is truly magnificent. It's an honor to be surrounded by history and the beauty of modern design in this wonderful building. Ethiopia has historically been and will continue to be a destination for trade and tourism for the Somali people as a neighbors. Our two sides must benefit from the opportunities offered by, the, by our two respective countries and in the process further strengthen our people-to-people -people relations. Projects like the restoration of National Palace will certainly contribute to the Ethiopia's economic reform agenda by boosting, by boosting and developing the tourism sector. On our sides, we are committed to encouraging tourism in our respective countries between our two peoples. And this is made much easier by the daily direct flights of Ethiopian airline for which we are grateful. Tourism is a pillar of economic development that has the potential to create jobs, foster partnerships, and facilitate innovation. Restoration projects like the Unity Park is an important to diversify the economy in a way that uh, celebrates the identity and history of the Ethiopian people. I once again congratulate you and the government and the people of Ethiopia on this magnificent success. I can assure you, Mr. Prime Minister, that my delegation and I committed to using this celebration to spearhead greater economic cooperation between our two countries, especially in the area of tourism. And I thank you.